Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more Frostpunk in the last city on Earth. We have a lot of sick people right now, like way more than I can handle. Uh, we do have a lot of leftover engineers, 15 unemployed currently. Is there any reason not to go ahead and place another medical post? I'm kind of thinking we might as well. You can actually fit it really nicely right here. Um, why is it highlighting this steam generator? It's not in range of that, surely. Huh. I don't know why highlighting here is making it act as if it is, but it's not. Anyway, yeah, we can go ahead and place another one. This fits very nicely. And uh, we can try to get these people back on their feet so that we can gather more resources a little bit faster. I think that's going to be a good idea. Alright. So right now we are working on drafting machines, the next tier of technology. The idea, of course, being that we will be able to get the steam steelworks so we can fix one of our bottlenecks which is namely steel production. We are always lacking in steel production. I need a lot more so I can finish upgrading all these houses and get ready for the next uh, set of technology and buildings we're going to need, etc., etc. So yeah, the sooner we can get that, probably the better. New law! Back to adaptation. So you already have moonshine. Uh, we could go for funerals. Ceremonial funerals is not a terrible idea. Um, it would certainly allow us to... Reduce the amount of hope lost if somebody dies. And considering we have so many people sick right now, I don't I don't think any of them are going to die. But if they did, this would be nice. Alternatively, prosthetics. But until the next round of uh, technology is done, we don't even have the factory. So I don't see a point. I'm not going to get the House of Pleasure. I don't even know if we're going to need the dueling law. Maybe. Emergency shift is also an option. But I think we'll just go with the ceremonial funerals. In case somebody dies at some point, we do have a cemetery. So... Maybe it'll be a little bit better. All right, so we have uh, some people ready to go for the search for Winter Home. We climbed up to the edge of the city. We stood there speechless, staring at the scene of devastation. It's a city of the dead. Most of the buildings are destroyed, and the generator has exploded. Uh-oh. Winter Home, the only other colony that we know of. That's not good. The streets of the ruined city are littered with scores of dead bodies. The City Chronicle describes the shortage of food and citizens, increasing despair, the following squabbles, riots and descent into anarchy, fights for dwindling resources, and the eventual starvation. The last entry. God forgive us, we're eating our own dead. There is no hope. Alright, so Winter Home did not make it. A failed colony. We are all on our own. A couple of steam cores are going to be retrieved. That's certainly nice. But this is going to set a few things in motion now, continue the story, and, uh, well, just wait, because this is about to get real ugly. Hang on a second. There we go. The news has shocked everyone in the city. There were supposed to be many settlements and construction crews here, people living normal lives in homes heated by generators. But we are alone. Hope falls, and when they say it falls, oh, you watch. There's the hope. Okay, here it comes. Here it comes. Are you ready? You ready? Oh, wait, they're all gathering and, and rioting. They're all dead! Yes, they are all dead. We should never have left Britain. See, again, they're not in Britain. Oh, there goes the hope. There it goes. All the way down towards zero. Yikes. Okay, so all the good stuff we were doing for our citizens is now for naught. They are all despairing. Winter home has fallen. They're all dead. How will we survive here without any help? We have to go back to London. There's no hope for us here in this frozen desert. People start to gather as the news of the fate of Winterholm spreads through the city. Some of them want to drop everything and flee to London. Panic is starting to set in. Now, I don't see why they would want to go back to London, because as far as I'm aware, London was also destroyed and turned into a frozen desert. So, it doesn't make a lot of sense, but desperate people don't need rationality. I must give them purpose. Alright, here comes a whole new mechanic in the game. This is pretty fun. So, you guys have seen our laws thus far, Adaptation. Now we get a whole new book of laws available, and we have to choose one of these two. We want to give our people some purpose, and there are a couple of ways to do that. People are shaken, racked by fear and doubt. They've lost hope in our chances of survival. Desperation could quickly push them to commit reckless acts. You have to unite them behind a vision of the future. Decide what will give them purpose and restore hope, or else our city will descend into the chaos that consumed Winter Home. So basically, in times of desperation, part of the human condition is we need something to latch onto, something to believe in to give us reasons to keep going. The two options are order and discipline or faith and spiritual strength. Order and discipline, basically uh, faith in the rule of law and the state. 
We will become their new belief system. We will give them a purpose through sheer force of will. I think this is really good at clamping down on discontent and, as a result, uh, establishing rule and order does seem to do a lot for making people a lot happier and give them some hope. Um, alternatively, we have faith and spiritual strength, more of a communal spiritual way of approaching the problem, a belief in a higher power, some sort of sense of community on a spiritual sense. Um, and they're both kind of weird forms of collectivist ideologies here to try and make this better. Uh, most people I've seen go for order, and order makes a lot of sense. It is pretty good. But because everyone does that, I'm going to go for faith and spiritual strength and see if it's any good, because I I'm curious. I want to know what the perks are of going down the faith route. So we're going to do a faith build. Boom! So this is our purpose. Now we can unlock the House of Prayer. We need a place to practice our faith in peace. After introducing this law, another one can be passed after a day and 12 hours. We get a House of Prayer as a new building. It costs some wood and steel. Uh, it also allows us to have a new ability, Sermon. People living nearby will gather to pray, which will raise their hope. We have to build two of them in order to fulfill our promises. All right, so the Order uh, Tree has something very similar. You build guard towers instead. And that's your way of protecting people and kind of continuing down the ideology. So now we have access to the House of Prayer. I need a bit of steel before I can do anything with this. But we can actually place a couple of these, I think. Um, let's see, right here, for example. No, I can't see it until we get some steel. All right, let's speed up a little bit until I can find it. I'll show you guys how this is going to work. Whoa, oh, hang on. There's a whole new mechanic, too. The Londoners. The unconvinced want to leave. Sire. Oh, no. Sorry. Sir. Ah, you've convinced the majority, but hope is low. A group of our people are still so scared they want to flee the city for London in 15 days. They've come to try to change your mind. You say that faith will save us. Nonsense. What, are we going to pray for food when we start to starve? Shouts one of them. If we don't try to reach London, we'll end up like Winterhome. Calm down. We're not going to die. Probably. I give us like a 60% chance. The people are divided. Some of them are so scared that they plan to leave the city in 15 days, they'll convince others to join them, preying on their discontent. Fear may lead people to desperate acts, maintain the peace, give people hope, and manage their discontent to guide the city safely through the looming social crisis. So yeah, again, people need something to believe in either way. It really can be a matter of rule of law, or it can be some sort of sense of community. Uh, and that's what we're going to go for. Right now, there are 18 Londoners in the city who are going to try to leave. And we can see every day there is a pretty high tendency that people will come and join them. And if we can't convince them, that's a huge part of our population that's just straight up gone. A note of thanks. A note was left on for the doctor who performed the amputation. Oh, cool. It reads, thank you. I was in terrible pain and blinded by fear. My choice would have doomed me. I may be without a limb now, but I'll live. Hope rises. Good timing for some hope. All right, that's pretty good. Uh, scouts. You need a place to go. You can go home and deliver three steam cores, which is tempting, or we can go and continue exploring. I'm going to send them to the snow cliff. I don't think this is dangerous, so we're going to go ahead and try that since it's nearby. The other group over here can go to the crash site. That's where our expedition was split up when this vehicle's crash in the snowstorm. Some of our precious supplies should be here. There is plenty of priceless supplies in the wrecks of our expedition. Searching among the crates scattered in the snow behind the wrecks, we found the bodies. They're tangled together in a single frozen mass as if these people were trying to find at least a little bit of warmth just before they died. We can do nothing for them, not even bury them. Gain some raw food and some wood. All right, we'll pick that up. They can go now to the American camp. Several big tents, no signs of life. A flag flies over them. The American flag. Even from this distance, we couldn't mistake the stars and stripes. Ah, uh, yes. The American stars and stripes. Truly. The greatest sign of hope that we have ever seen. I say with a certain level of bias being a proud American myself, but all right. So how are we doing on this whole medical post? It's going to take a little bit longer. Uh, new event. People join the Londoners. Okay. Sir, the people who want to leave for London have successfully urged a whole load of people to join them. Another eight. That is unfortunate. Actually, if we had waited a couple of hours before I explored Winterhome, I think we would have timed that differently. So less Londoners would have joined, but oh well. It's not, it's not easy to do that exactly. Let's go ahead and assign a few engineers here. We are going to treat a whole bunch of new sick. So we're treating 15 currently. Um, and 16 are still sick. Well, hard for me to deal with that, but we'll see. It's almost time for people to go back to work. Uh, and it will be getting pretty cold in the near future. Funsies. Okay, let's go ahead and turn these on now. Uh, that should be plenty warm, I think. And the steel is coming in. Now... 
Do we go for the House of Prayer immediately? I'm going to go with yes. Let's go ahead and get these. House of Prayer, a small place of worship for our people. Prayers, sermons, and small ceremonies are held here. People living near the House of Prayer will be more hopeful. So it kind of works similar to the fighting arena in that sense that it reduces discontent. This re uh, increases your hope. Costs 30 wood and 10 steel, and has a pretty sizable radius on it. Now, I've deliberately built out the city in such a way that most of my residential areas are all kind of clustered together. Partly for heat sources, partly for the fighting arena, but now partly also for the House of Prayer. So if I were to place a House of Prayer, like, let's say here... Actually, is this spaced right? Hang on. Uh, one, two, three. Like this. That would cover about half of my housing, so I could place one right there. Uh, we'll also want to go ahead and get some streets out, sort of like this. Oh, nope, hang on. Mess that up. Place like this. Okay, there we go. And we'll place the second one right over here, and that should cover almost all of my housing pretty effectively. And then once it's done, we can start having some sermons and try to raise hope, which will be great. We could really use a lot more hope to try and reduce the number of people who want to join the Londoners. New House of Prayer. So that one's already there. Um, if I place... How do we how do you space this also? Um, so let's see. There's one, two, this, 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 right um, here. I think it's kind of hard to see the radius of this other house of prayer. Right here might be what we want. I think this will cover almost all future housing expansion as well, while also covering most of the houses that currently exist. All right, we're gonna place one right there as well. Done. And get a road out like so. Perfect. Okay. So those are our houses of prayer. We will finish our um, our promise. And the drafting machines have been researched. New technology. Let's go for the steam steelworks. Now, I need as much steel production as is possible. Let's also go ahead and grab myself some upgrade in these bunk houses before things get too much colder. Uh, simply so that I can continue making sure that places are well heated. Uh, once this is done, of course, we are going to upgrade both of these. How are we doing as far as our coal production? We have a couple of really tall coal piles here. But I think that the two gathering posts are doing a pretty good job. Whoa, something just happened. Crap, we got some hope because I finished the things and hit escape at the wrong time. Okay, well, we got a little bit more hope. That's good. The tendency has reduced down to only one chevron. So I think we gain, what, four more Londoners per night or something like that? And now, if we do this, a short sermon will be delivered in places of worship hope rises. It has a two-day cooldown. I think we can just go ahead and do it now. So there we go, and that gives us some free hope right there. We can only do it in um, once, though. It goes for all houses of worship. So either way, though, that's a tiny little bit of hope. Every two days, we can continue to raise the hope. That's not bad. Now we're at the snow cliff. The hole in the snow cliff leads to a small chamber. Someone lives here, but the lonely human figure we saw from afar has disappeared. It might be the sole survivor of Winterhome. Search the area. The refugee, the man we have seen from afar, was nowhere to be found. Searching his burrow, we found a diary of a scientist who fled Winterhome. After the starving city fell into chaos, its leader, an army captain, appointed himself an absolute ruler. He tried to impose order using force. Plenty of people, disgruntled, deserted the city, and most of the others rebelled against him. So, just kind of like if he had gone down the order path, it would have looked something kind of like that if we had screwed it up. We have uh, discovered a steam core, some wood, and a lot of meals. Alright, so that's done. New places we can go. Uh, now, do we want to send them home? Because that's a lot of steam cores, and we might actually need that in order to build the steam steelworks. I actually think that we may want to deliver these. I do not want to risk losing four steam cores, and you never really know if you go to some of these places, maybe one of them's dangerous. Uh, we've officially reached the point where I no longer know anything about the game. We have surpassed my own practice time. So if any of these are dangerous, I do not know. Now, last video, did we talk about outposts? We might have, because here's the stuff about outposts. Um, if we were to build here, we could get some wood. If we explore the coal mine, we can get more coal. There's going to be some new things over here that will unlock eventually as well. Uh, so it will be interesting to see if we want to get outposts pretty early on. I may actually want to get the uh, factory for some prosthetics, just because we have some amputees. And also give me the opportunity to build some more automatons and get more workers, which is not half bad, my opinion. So I'm okay with that. Uh, only another little bit left in the day. We might finish this tech in time, though. Huzzah, we did. Okay. So the Steam Steelworks is done. Uh, what should we go for next? The wall drill would allow us to get more wood. Sawmill upgrade makes them more efficient. Charcoal if we want to get more coal. Um, coal mining is not terrible. Gathering post-insulation. More heat. That's tempting. 
Steam Coal Thumper, more heating. Uh, power upgrade could lead to some good stuff down here. Better heaters, which makes them um, more effective in heating, but also use more coal. The Infirmary, a steam-heated infirmary with 10 beds. The sick are treated faster in the medical posts and the gravely... That's pretty nice. We could actually start dismantling some of our medical posts and get the infirmary to be a little bit better. Cookhouse insulation, no. Healthcare insulation, maybe. We're not relying very heavily upon hunting right now. Um, hothouse insulation, maybe. Yeah, there's a lot of things we want right now. And if we want to go toward generator efficiency upgrades, we need to increase the power quite a bit. So there's a lot of things we need all of a sudden. Faster scouts, uh, yeah. Outpost depots allow us to assemble an outpost team, send it to establish a permanent resource outpost from the city. Um, also really good. Factories, if you want to build more automatons and the prosthetics. I think for now, let's grab the infirmary so that uh, once the new steam cores are delivered, and it's going to be about a day, um, we'll be able to start making uh, people a lot healthier. Okay, now, if we want to go to our resources, we need the steam steelworks. We want to upgrade both of these. We are completely out of steel, but that was the perfect amount. Now people can go ahead and work on that in their free time. It's a little, it's a little, um, a little cold over here, so I hope they don't get too sick. I'm gonna go ahead and just turn this on right now and keep them warm while they work. And then once both of these are done, we'll go ahead and turn it back off. Uh, good news is we have about a day's worth of coal, so we're doing okay there right now. Let's turn this back off. Problem solved. And we have an event at the House of Prayer. What's this? The Rebirth of Faith. Sir, people have started to visit the House of Prayer. There aren't many of them yet, but it might be the start of something special. It seems they really needed a proper place of worship. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, people need things to believe in. And they will find something to believe in. It's either going to be a higher power or community or some sort of spiritual thing. Or it's going to be in the state. Uh, or it's going to be in uh, science and rationality itself. Who knows? People always need something to believe in. If they don't, I don't know. I, I, my observation of the human condition is they fall apart pretty rapidly if they have no reasons for hope. Anyway, let's go ahead and speed this up. Not much to do at night right now. Uh, we are still treating people, so we're actually starting to catch up on the number of sick. That's good. Um, once we get some new laws, we can work on uh, some more of our faith, or we could upgrade something else like get prosthetics law. Might be worth continuing getting more stuff in faith for now, since um, as much as I would like to get prosthetics, until we have factory tech, it probably doesn't matter. Scouts have reached the American camp. There's not a living soul in the camp. Crap. Found a dozen ema uh, emaciated bodies. Surprisingly, most of them were amputees, fitted with prostheses. The American camp was well supplied with everything except food. Searching the tents, we have found more victims of hunger. Most of them have been badly worn, but sophisticated artificial limbs bearing a company symbol, Tesla Manufacturing. We can only bury them and take their equipment. Get some steam cores and metal. Tesla, huh? Yeah, I really think that Tesla is like a major aspect of the steampunk genre. Um, having, uh, having Nikola Tesla as, like, instead of Thomas Edison, you know, inspiring the, uh, electrical age. Yeah. Anyway, we're gonna go to the temporary settlement. Uh, we have found no smoke or signs of life, but there are huts. Very temporary settlement. We'll see if there are any survivors. I wouldn't mind increasing my labor force even more. We're actually doing pretty decent on food lately, so I think that's fine. Yep, four more people have joined the Londoners. That's better than it was. If we can get to about half hope, I think that stops. And once you go above, it actually starts going down. So that is certainly something. Um, okay, we have to get organized. We have to do something. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Um, yeah, that's right. You stay here, Leslie. Your name's Les... You look like a man. Isn't Leslie a girl's name usually? This doesn't have to be. Uh, I guess I shouldn't have assumed your gender. I'm so sorry. Well, either way. Good news is we have our Steam Steelworks, which is now going to give us seven steel per hour instead of, what was it before? I think it was four steel per hour? So we haven't quite doubled our steel production, but we've at least increased it enough that I should be able to finish upgrading the rest of these tents, and we can build other things that will be fun. Like what? I don't know. We'll find something. Um, we are using our coal up pretty rapidly. Um, I, we do have to keep an eye on this. If we start running out of coal, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. But I, I think I think we can make it. I think we'll be okay. All right, let's see. Um, time to go back to work. Start getting that steel together. Perfect. Thank you. Let's go and get another one of these bunk houses, like so. Uh, and we have a lot of space around here to continue building more housing with this uh, house of prayer, plus the fighting pit, plus these generators. So I actually think that we've done a really good job planning out our residential districts, if I do say so myself. 
And I think with this, we have officially upgraded all of the housing, which means we have full insulation out here. That's excellent, because it's about to get a lot colder. So having more insulation should make things way easier to control. All right. Waiting on that new Book of Laws. Another couple of hours to go. Uh, we have these people arriving with steam cores in a few hours. That's good. Turns out we didn't need any for the steam steelworks. So not the highest of priorities, but oh well. Um, this way we aren't risking losing anything. Infirmary researched. Ah, that we did need a steam core for. Build the infirmaries to improve your health. Okay, we'll do that later. Uh, insulation is tempting. It is about to get a lot colder, so I'm tempted to say we want to get a generator power upgrade. Um, either that or we want to get more insulation. Gathering post insulation is very tempting because that's far outside of our heat range, so that could be good. Um, healthcare insulation is pretty good, too. I think we want to go for the power upgrade. That's like the only level 1 technology we're still missing. And uh, knowing how cold it's about to get, being able to turn this thing on will probably be a lot easier. But if you look at uh, heat now, there we go. Everyone's currently quite comfortable because of that insulation. That is excellent. Uh, if we go to the construction tech here, we can't build the infirmary until we get a steam core. I don't even know how big it is. Um, will we be able to delete one of these medical posts to make room? I don't know. Perchance? We are getting capped out on our food rations. We should go ahead and get some more resource depots so that we have uh, extra buffer space. I'm going to go ahead and build a couple of them out like that. And of course, give them more of a street like so. And we do have a new book of laws. All right, what do we got? We get, um, do we want an adaptation or do we want purpose? Uh, I think for now we'll continue with purpose. What do we have? Evening prayers. We shall meet and pray together to warm not only our bodies, but also the souls. A new ability, evening prayers. So I think this one consumes some food, but gives you a lot more hope. Uses it, raises hope, and lowers discontent. Alternatively, we have the shrines. A new building. Shrines raise the hope of people working nearby, and it also increases efficiency. Ooh, that's pretty good. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. All right, let's go to the shrines. Now, what does a shrine take to build? Hang on. Faith. Shrine. Cost 10 steel. Crap. Um, oh, it's just like the, uh, the, the steam cores. In that it sits on one of the roads. Okay, so if I place this near workplaces, will be a lot. What if I do right here then? Ooh, there we go. I could place it right here. Wait, that would block something apparently. Well, this wouldn't though. Well, but that's not in range of this other steam thing. If we place one right here though, we would make the gathering posts and the uh, steel more productive. Let's do that. We're gonna place one right there. I need to get a bit more steel and place as many of these as possible. Uh, placing them around the workshop. I'll bet you that would get me. Um. I bet you that would get me some extra research. That's pretty good. Allie, why are you such a downer? Is there nothing more pressing? Hey, there is nothing more important than pleasing God with our shrines, even though it might lead to our deaths, because we don't have enough food. Shut up. Don't question it. Shrines. Also, it increases our efficiency, so really, no. I think that this, I don't think there is much of a higher priority right now. Okay, hang on. How do we want to do this? We have to build three in total in order to fulfill our promise. Um, most of our industry is in this area, so if I place one right... Over here, and then one over here, maybe? This would affect a lot. Um, if we place one here. Medical posts. This is pretty good. Place one here. And if we can get enough steel before the end of the day, we'll place one right over here. Uh, I, want them to over I don't want them to overlap many more than they have to, but I guess they're so cheap, why not just place a bunch of them? Probably won't hurt me that much, honestly. I don't know yet. I don't know. A um, little bit more steel. Just a little bit more. A little bit more. There we go. Another shrine. So I had one there. I could place one like down here and then one up here. Or I could just do one right here and this affects almost everything I care about already. Actually, this is fine. Do I care about this sawmill down here? Probably not. Wood has not been a major concern for me right now. If we do this, we upgrade both of our hothouses as well. Perfect. We're just going to do that. Alright. Good enough for me. Speed it up. Uh, it is going to get very cold as of tomorrow, so we do need to be prepared for that. This should do a lot to increase hope, because we actually are going to have a shrine where pretty much every single person in the city works. That's really got to be good, right? I think so. I have to think so. Um, it's not time for any more sermons, so we'll wait on that. Shrines have been built! Alright, the hope rises. People feel encouraged to pray even more often. Yay, hope! I like it. I like it a lot. This is good. We're getting capped out on the food rations still. Uh, good news is these are about to finish. So let's get more room for rations and probably more room for coal. 
just to make sure we never run out of that. We actually could probably go ahead and place another resource depot, because I suspect we're actually going to get capped out on wood relatively soon as well. So we'll do that. I just want to have enough uh, materials building up to create a good solid buffer, you know? I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk um, finding out that we, we weren't able to keep enough resources stored for a day. Especially something like coal. Because if we reach our cap and it turns out as we upgrade, we're uh, using up so much coal that we go through our entire stores in a day, we'll never replenish it. Alright, some scouts have arrived at the temporary settlement. It seems to have been abandoned. It consists of several tidy wooden shacks that are now completely empty. The center of the settlement is marked with an upright boulder. On its roughly planed face, someone chiseled the following. May God forgive the genius who sacrificed human lives in the name of progress, for we can't. Exiles of Tesla City. We won't touch the monument, but we decided to man dismantle the huts for some wood. Ooh, okay, Tesla City. That will be the American city that's somewhere on this map. Um, Dreadnought Landing and a walled colony. I think we can safely go to a walled colony, but there's no movement still. Do we want to risk it, or do we want to send these guys back? I think we will risk it and then send them back, maybe? I don't know. We'll try this one and see how it goes. Um, I know Tesla City could be considered dangerous. I do remember that. So I, I do want to send these guys home before we find something called Tesla City. No need to take stupid risks, right? Right, I think so. All right, so the technology, we're almost done with our generator power upgrade. When this is done, it's going to consume like 48 coal per hour. Like, it's going to cost a lot. Scouts have returned with steam cores, some wood, some food rations, and some coal. Excellent. Let's send them somewhere else. Um, probably over here. Could go to the coal mine just so we can establish the outpost, or we can go to Freshwater Springs or the Shrouded Cave. An inhabited cave or Freshwater Springs? Mm. It's going to take a long time to get anywhere. Let's try going to the Shrouded Cave. See how well that works out for us. Uh, I'm not sure what to expect up there. No idea, actually. Good news is we're all looking pretty happy in terms of our heat. Let's go ahead and turn off these. Um, interesting. Even without a heater, these guys are livable in their condition because the steam works are so... Wait. What about you? Are you on? No, you're not on right now. I don't know. They're actually really comfortable. Very well insulated, it turns out. Okay, well, anyway, I think this is a good place to end this video. So now we have discovered our purpose. It is going to be faith and community. So hopefully we can raise up our hope at least above half, fix this whole Londoner situation. Uh, and also, next video, I'd like to start getting some prosthetics built to try and make our amputees more effective. We also have access to another resource depot. Let's get some more wood storage, and boom. Right now, we're looking pretty solid, but it's going to get cold, and there's no heat in sight. In fact, if anything, I think we're reaching the stage of the game where it is only going to get a heck of a lot colder. So let's make sure we stay on top of our resource generation. Let's keep cranking out that technology, and let's bring these people some hope. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If so, then be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. Hit that notify bell to be notified of my future videos, and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>